In this lesson, we're going to look at equations that are different from the previous examples we've done. So instead of having numbers added or subtracted to our variable, here we're going to have numbers multiplied or divided um, into our variable. And so we need a different property of equality to deal with this. So we have the multiplication property of equality. And so this gives us the tool of understanding that if I know the left side equals the right side, then multiplying by the same thing on both sides of that equation does not change the equation. So if so a equals b and a times c equals b times c are equivalent equations. You know, and since multiplication and division, you know, go together, um, we also uh, by extension have permission to divide um, both sides of an equation by the same thing. And we can multiply or divide by anything we want except, there's one exception, we can't multiply or divide by zero. That's that's not okay. So um, let's look at 2x equals 8. Now you have already solved equations that look like this um, both in chapter 1 and chapter 2. So remember what we said was, you know, if you have a coefficient in front of your variable and you want to get rid of it, just simply divide by it, right? And that's certainly a way to do that because 2 divided by 2 is just 1, so 1 times x is x, and 8 divided by 2 is, of course, 4, so there's our solution. So we're using the division uh, portion of the multiplication property of equality. Now, uh, if you want to actually multiply by something, you certainly can, right? So remember, you can always multiply both sides by the reciprocal of the coefficient. So in this case, that would be 1 half. And of course, that's going to give you the exact same answer. All right, but you've seen problems like this before, so this is really nothing new. Um, what you may not have seen before is one that looks a little more like this. So here we're trying to solve negative x over 5 equals 2, right? So we're dividing by 5. Well, if division is the opposite of multiplication, and that's why we divided by 2 over here, then if we're dividing, we should do its opposite, which is multiplication. So what I would suggest here is take the left side, put it in parentheses, and go ahead and multiply by 5. Now let's think ahead a little bit. If I multiply by 5, that will cancel these 5's out, but I'll still be left with a negative x, and I want to get x completely by itself. I don't even want a negative in front of it. So what we might as well do here is go ahead and multiply by a negative 5, because that will allow the 5's to cancel, but then I know a negative times a negative will be a positive. So I'll multiply by negative 5 on the left, negative 5 on the right, and so 5's cancel, and a negative times a negative is positive. So x equals negative 10.